These are the three most important things you need to understand when it comes to photography. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So shutter speed, aperture, and ISO are the three basic fundamentals when it comes to understanding photography. Each one of these concepts plays a major role in how an image is captured and exposed. So let's go ahead and explain each concept individually. So we're gonna start off with shutter speed. So what is shutter speed? So shutter speed is the amount of time your digital sensor within the actual camera is exposed to light. A faster shutter speed will allow you to capture sharp images. However, it'll decrease the amount of light you are letting into your camera. While a slower shutter speed allows you to capture images with motion blur, but increase the amount of light you let into your camera sensor. Let's now move on to number two, aperture. What is aperture? Aperture is the amount of light that is being let into your camera's sensor. Aperture is also known as f-stop and can be adjusted based on your camera lens. A lower aperture number will have a wider opening within the lens, therefore allowing more light to enter your camera. The end result is that a lower aperture number is going to have a shallow depth of field, meaning the subject will be in focus, but everything else in the background will be out of focus. And a higher aperture number will have a greater depth of field, allowing an entire image to be focused, not only the subject. And finally, let's talk about the last one, ISO. So what is ISO? ISO refers to how sensitive your camera is to light. A lower ISO value like 100 means your camera is not so sensitive to light. While a higher ISO like 12,800 means your camera is extremely sensitive to light. ISO is also used to adjust the darkness and brightness of your image. A lower ISO will darken an image and not add noise or grain, while a higher ISO will brighten an image, but you're introducing noise and grain as you go higher into the ISO range. So these are the three basic fundamentals to photography, and it's extremely important that you understand aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Each play an important role in how your image is exposed and captured. So the goal with these three principles is to balance each other as well as prioritize each setting depending on what image you're trying to capture. For example, if you wanted to capture a subject in motion, you would prioritize your shutter speed by using a high shutter speed. Then you would adjust your aperture and ISO accordingly. If you wanted to create an image where your subject is in focus, but however the background is blurry, then you would prioritize your aperture by using a low aperture like f1.4 then you would adjust your shutter speed and ISO accordingly so that you get a well-exposed image. Now that you understand these three basic concepts, put your creative ideas together and go out and start capturing some crazy photos. Peace.